But Greg Sage profiles a hockey player who certainly fits the bill. National Player of the Year, Jerry Galway of RIT. Did you realize that it is your last year and this is your last shot at getting a ring? He hails from the hockey factory of Mississauga, Ontario. And much like Indiana Jones' search for the Holy Grail, RIT defenseman Jerry Galway has been on a tireless quest for the elusive Division III championship. It's something that I've been thinking about ever since I got here, and it, uh, it kind of came more into play last year where you just kind of, you're almost touching it, and then it just gets uh, kind of stolen away from you. So I've been, I've had that in the back of my mind for pretty much a whole year right now. But despite Jerry's best efforts, RIT season ended last night at the hands of playoff nemesis, Plaster. I have a personal vendetta against this team. They've happened to knock me off uh, two out of my uh, three years, not including this year. You want to see how you match up against the tough teams, and we felt that Elmira was probably one of the uh, toughest teams in the nation. It's always good to have those, uh, those accolades come from uh, the NCAA and the ECAC. It's, uh, it's truly an honor you know, to be in a, def a defensive uh, player and get those kind of awards. It doesn't happen a lot, but uh, you know, I owe that all to my teammates, and you know, without them, you know, it's kind of a cliche, but uh, without them, there's no way I would have received any of those awards. For Sunday Sports Extra, I'm Greg Sage. GS, nice job. Now, Galway leads RIT as one of four Tigers ever to be named All-American more than once.